Are you ready to do the sequel to The Passion now? No. Well, we're actually, it, it's a tall order, you know, because um, the, um, the subject matter is vast. I mean, it's not just about a resurrection and, you know. Not ABC. You, that's not how you want to no, tell the tale. It's, it's not the Burnett version, you know. It's like, it's, it's not the, uh, you know, man comes back, walks through walls, has holes in hands, eats a piece of fish, you know. It's not that. Mm. It, it's, um, it's, a, it's a big, it's a vast theological experience. And I think mm. you need to delve into what that means in, in a way that you take that as the centerpiece and you juxtapose it against many things that go on around it ah. and, and in other realms. Mm. So that you, you have to under, it, it gets pretty wild. It's like an acid trip, but <laughs> I think- uh, With the saints, it's okay. Yeah, right, it's okay. It's okay. You have a spirit guide to take uh, you through that's it. That's right. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's like, How close are you? I know you and Randy Wallace have been working on the script. Yeah. How far along are you? We, you know, it's just the never-ending uh, kind of, it just keeps revealing itself more and more mm -hmm. the, the further you get into it. Mm -hmm. Everything from the fall of the angels to the, you know, I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, it starts so, opening up all the other. Yeah, yeah, it opens up all these channels. And, um, so it's not just he resurrected and we're going to give you greatest hits of the Acts of the Apostles. No, it's not that. <laughs> That's not it, you know, it's like, why didn't they recognize him on the way to a mouse, you know?